Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Longland on Transport Fever 2. Yeah, uh, last time around, pretty sure I got all of the rest of the um, uh, goods freight uh, connected up. Yeah, so that means that a whole bunch of stuff is just uh, tootling around the map and stuff is happening and we've got all this, you know, all this stuff running around here. Um, yeah, uh, but what, um, what I haven't done is complete the passenger network, right? And I think that is the thing that is, uh, is worth pursuing. So, uh, what I need to do then is get, um, uh, a passenger rail, uh, out of, uh, the cities and go between the cities with it. Now, uh, it's 1945 in game, and um, it, yeah, it's uh, electric trains are a thing, uh, decent electric trains, in fact, uh, at least for passengers. So it's entirely uh, reasonable to uh, just uh, do some electric rail between towns. Yeah. Um, but what I probably should do is uh, update some of these uh, things here. Now, <clears throat> uh, the Studebaker does 60k. Um, that one does 60k. Um... That one's stronger, the Opal Blitz. Yeah, we'll go with the Blitz. Replace. Okay. Um, right. Ah, we've got... Uh, what are you? Manage. What are you? Can stat. What's a can stat? Um, okay. Replace. Grab us a blitz. Uh, the tarp. Yeah. Uh, do that. Okay. Well, that'll get those moving around a little bit faster. It's, it's overkill on the lines, but it'll get those moving faster. Now, these guys are well let's just take a look at what we can replace these with that's the whatever it, it is um does 40k and it's electric this one does 45k carries 21 yeah that does 60k Uh, carries 23. It's slower loading, though. Um, let's grab that guy and stick it in there. Um, okay, so we've got, uh, local, um, uh, traffic there as well. Uh, right. Um... Okay. Yeah, we've got a lot of local traffic here now. Uh, we have bus lanes, do we? Uh, tools. Bus lane. We do have bus lanes. Nice. <clears throat> that will let us uh, get... Uh, some of the uh, traffic from uh, uh, bottling things up. Oh, uh, let's replace these trams as well. Uh, I went with uh, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I don't think that's going to make a huge difference. But what I also want to do, I think, is uh, take the uh, wide street. Yep. And we'll upgrade here. Oh, really? Interesting. Do that. And that. Construction not possible. Why? Oh. It's a collision. Well, we'll uh, upgrade some stuff to use the uh, wider road where we can. Uh, okay. Well, that's um, probably of minimal uh, assistance tools. Uh, right. Uh, we want we'll bus lane there. Do it there, too. Might as well do it along here. Uh, does that give us uh, any huge amount of help? No, probably not. But it will let some of the traffic clear more easily. Oh, we've got traffic lights, don't we? No. Where do we... Was it in here? Yeah. We've got traffic lights. We don't want traffic lights. Yeah, we don't want traffic lights. Um over here. No, we don't want traffic lights. Good. Right, okay. No traffic lights. Uh, okay. Now, if we up the tempo a bit, we can observe uh, operations here. Right, um, that definitely is uh, making some sort of a difference anyway. Uh, is that, okay, that's not backed up. This uh, looks like it's not backed up either. Oh, we can go and manage this line as well. Yeah, we'll do that too. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so it looks like the major traffic there cleared. Yep. Right, okay. Well, that's going to help a little bit, maybe. Now, uh, what I did here is uh, way back I created the underground stations here right and I'm I'm thinking uh, the way to connect out to other towns is to come out of uh, Metropolis here and head up to Jericho and we can come above ground heading to Jericho I believe so yeah let's um, we're gonna build this with um, with uh, fancy uh, uh, high-speed tracks oh oh yeah we want uh, we want uh, catenary okay why is that doing that Okay, we come out to there, and then we come up. Why won't it? Okay, that snapped. Okay, that did too. Okay, I don't know that we can actually get up above ground with this one. 
uh, before we get to uh, Jericho. Oh, we can. Uh, okay. How do we want to get up there, though? Uh, maybe around that angle. And then something like that. Oh, that's not going to work. That might. Yeah, that might work. So if we came up like that. Um, okay, we, we end up coming up a bit slow there. But, you know, that might be, uh, that might be acceptable. Um, that might be acceptable. Uh, now, to get into uh, Jericho, uh, do we want to combine with this uh, main station here? Maybe. Maybe. Um... Okay, where have we come up? Over here. So we'd need to come up and over this business. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there any way we can make this work? Well... Let's start by going in here. We configure it with a passenger platform. And we put that over here. And then we go tracks over here. Yeah. Well, we're going to need a dual uh, track operation here. And another platform. Yeah, okay. Well, that gives us something to build off of. Now, we can go down and under here, and we need to head this way. Uh, down and under. Okay, that's what it is. Down and under. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe not that far down. Can we get on? Ah, oh, we can get under if we go level. Aha. Where are we heading? That way. Okay. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, I think we can. Okay. Yeah, see, at, at this point, I'm okay with a major underground endeavor. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, a major underground endeavor to Jericho is probably fine. So, if we back this up, uh, like this. Yeah, like that. Uh, what happens if we do this? Oh, if we do this and this, no, it's like, no, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, if we come out like this and we go like that, yeah, and we go like this, uh-huh, okay. Well, let's just uh, back that up a little further. Uh, try that again. Okay, and then we come up like... Well, that works. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Okay. Bam! Right. Uh, that is, in fact, acceptable. Uh, I need to change this here, though. Uh, no. Uh, Jericho Station configure. Right.
Uh, get rid of these. Nope. Right. And then we got one, two. Yeah. We'll uh, run these out like that. Tracks. Right. And then we need uh, misc, and we need uh, these things. Collision. Put one of those there. Uh, that should be enough, actually. Yep. But we also need these. Let's put as many of those in as... You know, they don't cost us anything, so why don't we? Um, we also need a passenger building over here. No. Passenger building over there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now we've got... Uh, our catchment's still good. Okay. Um, what do we need? Uh, well, to test this, we need a crossover thingy. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to need some signals on here. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're going to need one here. No, that's going to need to be one way. One here. Yeah, we'll put a few along here so we can potentially run dense dense train traffic. Uh, right. Oh, yes, we're going to need to upgrade to uh, electric rail uh, elsewhere as well. Um, okay, we're going to need this, and maybe this, yeah. Okay, now, tools, electric, what, okay, that upgraded. That upgraded. That that upgraded. Okay. Uh, we need these. Yeah. And these. Yeah. Okay. We got this. We need to upgrade. While I'm in here, I should upgrade all of this. Okay. Yep. That's upgraded. Should upgrade that too, just so it doesn't look dumb. And tracks along here too. Okay. Right. Good. And here. Uh, I need to do this because the depot is over here, right? Uh, so having the depot over there, we're going to not be able to launch trains if this isn't um, sorted, right? Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Good. That's, uh, that's got uh, electrification in there. Now, we have a line coming through here. Uh, okay, so we're going to, uh, we're going to change this to the Metropolis mainline uh, it's going to be the uh, PT mainline yeah okay we're going to manage vehicles on here uh, we're going to replace that now we want electric now we got the Milwaukee which does uh, uh, 
does 120. Crocodile does 75. The 4 7 here does 100, 2300. The Milwaukee has lots of power. Uh, this one uh, does 160 with lots of power. Yeah, we'll grab that guy. That seems fun. Passengers. Um, okay. That does 150. The heavyweight parlor does. Now, if we grab the uh, New Mexico coach, it's a slow loading speed. Carries 18. The BC4 only does 120, but okay. This has a slow loading speed. The Suburban has uh, a four times loading speed, which uh, could be beneficial here. Um, yeah, we'll put Suburban coaches on here. Uh, we'll run six of them on here. So 164 meters, I think that fits the platforms. So if we replace it, now, uh, We'll keep that, we'll grab the main line, we'll manage the line. Now we're going Metropolis Central, Central City Central, right? So we're gonna go up to Jericho. Uh, come on, Jericho. And then we'll come back down to uh, Metropolis right and then uh, what's the uh, complaint um, okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on board here and uh, ride our fancy new train line uh, with the uh, train line indicator uh, showing here. Yeah, we're definitely moving a lot faster now. We blast into here. Yeah, you, it's been a lot of episodes since we looked at these underground uh, platforms, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, and now we're on the high-speed tracks. See, that's the thing with these newer uh, engines, the electrics and the diesels. They can just uh, blast along so much more effectively at uh, much higher speeds, right? And here we come into Jericho, where we are uh, happily uh, taking a full load back. Oh, yeah. That's because of the change in the line, right? Well, uh... Yeah, uh, well, this is definitely going to work uh, quite well for a uh, passenger line. Uh, and this is kind of why uh, I delayed the passenger stuff earlier on and uh, switched over to doing the, uh, uh, the freight because it was clear that this was going to... Uh, work a lot better with the electric trains, right? Oh, wow. That's a lot of passengers. We can add another two coaches on this, I think. Manage vehicle. Uh, edit. One, two, modify, uh, jump on board. Now we have 152 capacity, and then I'll probably add a second train on this. Yeah, because we got a lot of passengers kicking up here.
Yeah. Now I might not need to do... No, a second train would probably be good. Right. Um, and we're going to take a full load, maybe? Almost a full load. Right, and I should change the trains on the other line as well to electric. And that might help some of the uh, traffic on the surface there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need uh, gonna need more uh, more capacity here. So uh, that will definitely be a thing. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to take a while to catch up on all of that. Okay. Uh, Central City... Yeah, okay. Gotham City Mainline. Those are carrying uh, eight, eight, okay. Manage. Uh, we're going to replace that with um, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And uh, electric, one of those. Replace. Yeah. Um, and we'll duplicate that one. Okay. Now let's just uh, observe here the uh, the whole uh, operation here. Um, yeah. Well, here we go. That should move passengers on the subway a lot, uh, a lot more efficiently. Definitely much better acceleration on these things. Uh, that's uh, definitely a benefit. Okay, here we go. Right. Now we're going to pick up a full load here, right? Yeah. Yeah, the second train here might allow things to catch up properly. Oh look, there's a train going the other way. Um, yeah, we're taking 80 passengers on. Okay, uh, we're good. Uh, now, the mainline thing is not, well, the train there is not making boatloads of money, but, uh, well, that gets us a train up to Jericho, and then we can send one on to Duckburg. Um, yeah, to Duckburg 
Danville pork, uh, pork belly. Yep. And then back down to Emerald City, I think. Um, or do I? I'll have to think about what to do with the uh, passenger stuff. But the uh, connection point to Jericho is definitely smart. Uh, I might do a second connection out of uh, out of Central City, actually, through Metropolis and uh, head south to Raccoon City and along the bottom of the map. Yeah, yeah, I think that is the way to go. Uh, a second uh, service out of Central City. Uh, which would uh, probably go via Metropolis on the surface. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Well, it's something to think about for the uh, next episode. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. And uh, this, uh, if I've got my uh, counting right for the scheduling, is the last episode of 2021, uh, the last episode of Transport Fever. Uh, I will be back uh, next year, uh, if you're watching this, you know, when it comes out. I will be back next year with more on this map, because it hasn't started slowing down yet to the point where it's unplayable. So I'm going to stick with it a bit longer, see if uh, we can work out the uh, passenger setups here. And see if we can get some things uh, working a little better. You know, all that jazz. Uh, but before I go, I just want to duck in here. And notice that there's actually less traffic on the surface now. Uh, after uh, adjusting the, uh, uh, the trains. Uh, so, yeah, things will get, uh, get better as we go. Anyway... Uh, that's all for now. So like, comment, subscribe, that business, you know the drill. Uh, you can also dislike still. Uh, the button's still there, last I checked. And, uh, you know, if there's, a, if there's no count, it still feeds into the algorithm. So, you know, the mighty algorithm. Algo, algorithm. Yes, I can English today. Uh, right. Uh, and, of course, the bell. If you turn that on, you might get some notifications that you would find find useful. Or maybe not. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, see you back next time.